Welcome back, everybody. My first guest, one of the greatest pound for pound boxers of all time. He just beat Rocky Marciano's record in a stunning defeat of Conor McGregor in Las Vegas. Please welcome boxing legend Floyd Money Mayweather. Hey man, this guy sitting here beat Rocky Marciano's record 50 and 0, hey. undefeated. That's got to be an incredible well, feeling. You know, for it, it's another fighter. I mean, you have fighters that's won more than 50 fights. Like um, a, the legend, Julio, Julio Cesar Chavez, at one particular time, I think he won like 70 straight fights. But in the 70 straight fights, you know, a lot of the guys that he fought, we don't know who he fought in those 70 fights. Yeah. But he was undefeated, and he's a legend, you yeah. know, um, throughout boxing, throughout, you know, because I don't really want to down any fighter that's, that has accomplished more than I've accomplished. Right. You know, in the sport of boxing. But You know, that's the thing that's interesting about you, man, because, you know, with all the flash, the Floyd money Mayweather, this dude right here is, is really, really smart guy, man. You, you all don't know. And he does some classy stuff. I was at the fight, by the way. Yes, I was there. <laughs> After the fight, yes. you know what I picked up on? You were speaking about Ireland. After the fight, I got a clip I want to show you from Showtime pay-per-view. Check this out. Boxing is a hell of a sport. MMA is a hell of a sport. And I want to thank all the fans from Ireland and all the fans around the world that came to this event. Look, man. You out there, you've been banging 10 rounds. What made you think of the people like that? Because without the people, you know, us as entertainers, us as athletes, us as TV hosts, we wouldn't be who we are without them. You know, I just appreciate the fans. Yeah. Have you spoken to Connor since the fight at all? No, we haven't spoke since the fight. You know, uh, we had a beef and we settled our beef. This is what you did that I thought was slick. Oh, by the way, one of my greatest lines, you were fighting against the ropes while I was sitting. I was on the second row because, yeah. <laughs> you know, everybody. Because <laughs> you Steve Harvey. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it was on TV. You know what I'm saying, Flo? It was on TV. Uh, uh, so what you, who you put on TV? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I see it. Yeah, Floyd. I, I see it. Dog, I was standing up. I see it. Because you know what I just said? You had him going on the ropes over there. Uh -huh. The favorite line, I had people all around me, hard because I was talking major trash. I said, knock his ass out over here, Floyd, so I can see it. <laughs> that was a great moment, man. Yes, yes. I watched you. You did something really slick. At the beginning of every round, you came out and you just covered up. Yes. You outsmarted because they corner didn't know that. Explain this that. This was the game plan. I knew that he's, he was used to fighting 25 minutes. I said, once we get him past 25 minutes, he's a dead man walking. <laughs> <laughs> he's a dead man walking. <laughs> Floyd, is this it? Is uh, this, this the this, last fight? This is it. You know, it's just that... Uh, my body is pushed to the limit. I did everything I can do in the sport. You have to realize, they couldn't find anyone in boxing that could beat me, so they had to go to a whole nother combat sport and get the best guy, <laughs> and they had to beat him too. <laughs> That's another thing I want to touch on, man, because a lot of people don't know it. 24 hours after the fight, just 24 hours, he played in a charity basketball game. For cancer, yes. For cancer. The next day, after the fight. Right after that. It's my boy. It's me and my son. <laughs> yeah. How'd you even handle that? I mean, I can't... If I get in a big-ass argument, <laughs> I pretty much got to cancel something. Uh, I mean, it's about giving back, man. 
You know, you. Well, can... Floyd, you agreed to do this. You knew it was right after the fight. I'm a man of my word. Got to stand on my word. That's all I got to stand on. Well, I gave you, I gave you, you my you, word. Yes, you did. I gave you my word. I told you I, I would do your show. Hey, man, let me tell you something. Right after the fight, I said, Floyd, man, I got a new show. I love for you to come on. He you said, I'm in L.A. now. I'm, I'm coming. I need you over there. I said, I'll be there. And, dog, here come Floyd. <laughs> and, 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 hey, ain't nobody got Floyd money Mayweather. <laughs> I love this. Hey, man, before you go, I'm going to ask you rapid questions. Rapid questions. Rapid questions. Yes. You ready? When was the last time you were scared? I never. I'm Floyd Mayweather. I ain't scared of nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what food can you not live without? Probably soul food. Okay, good. If you weren't a fighter, yes, what would you do? Hopefully, I'll be doing something legal, and I hope I, <laughs> hopefully I'll be doing something legal. I love you, man. Thank you. You're my man. Thank you. A man of your word. Solid. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Floyd Money 